In the past 20 years, we've witnessed incredible software innovations that have changed how we live, work, and communicate. Platforms like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, and Netflix have become so integrated into our daily lives that it's hard to imagine a world without them. I mean, do you guys remember when IG dropped, when Musical.ly became TikTok, when Snapchat was all the rave? These applications, in this case, these mobile applications, became completely ubiquitous with how we live life. It's like they simply became integrated into what we do and who we are and also how we relate to one another. Today, we're in the midst of the AI revolution with technology seemingly pushing new boundaries daily. On the surface, it feels like we're in an era of constant innovation. But what if we're not actually in an era of innovation? What if instead we're, we're decaying? decaying? Go, Go outside, outside and look around across many different cities in the United States. What do you see? A growing homeless crisis? The trash and filth peppering our streets? Crumbling public infrastructure? Broken roads? Aging freeways? Unreliable public transportation? And failing water systems? Most of the infrastructure we rely on today was built by generations before us. Moreover, you'll likely see vacant storefronts. Those still open have empty shelves or products locked behind glass to prevent theft. You'll also notice that your neighborhoods seem less safe and plagued by outrageous housing costs and police forces working with outdated equipment. Despite, Despite all, all the advances, advances in, in the, the digital, digital world, world our physical reality has taken a back seat. You don't need me to tell you this because you live it every day, just like we all do. But for decades now, instead of solving these real world problems, we've decided to escape into the virtual realm. We build digital landscapes simulating the effort and toil that comes with solving real world problems while our actual issues accumulate in the background. We spin in circles, redundantly rebuilding and redoing the same front end frameworks, or chasing the algorithm's favor in order to go viral. But I can't help to wonder what problem, and maybe I'm being a little too general here, what problem has all that software development really solved? We've buried our heads in the proverbial digital sand, hoping to escape the constraints and the limitations and the decay of the world around us. But there's nowhere to run to. Look up.